What is up my friends? Welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. My name is Matt. I appreciate y'all tuning in this morning. We're gonna do some land-based fishing around a bunch of docks in St. Petersburg. The sun is just coming up. It's a little bit breezy out. We do have some wind protection because we're on a bayou, but not a lot. It's brisk today. It's gonna be 15 plus. Uh, we'll make things a little bit more challenging, but that's okay. We're gonna start out throwing the Savage Gear shrimp looking for snook, reds, trout, jacks, and then we're gonna go get some mangrove tree crabs and do some sheep's head fishing. If we can't get any crabs, we've got some artificials, so we're gonna try to get on the sheep's head anyway. That's the plan, y'all, let's go get them. Ooh, what was that? What the heck was that, y'all? I think I just got blasted. Hang on. Well, all right. Oh, there's a massive redfish under there. Oh my gosh, y'all. There is a freaking massive mess of reds right here. I'm never gonna be able to make a cast to them. Oh my gosh, that is wild. They're like just out of my casting range. Oh, that is a massive one too. We might put our waders on y'all. Oh, we didn't bring them. I wish you guys could see the fish under this dock. I mean, it is crazy. Oh my gosh, y'all. All right, y'all, we have not been able to get bait. No crabbies. So I'm doing the next best thing. I'm gonna get some mussels and some oysters. off of the seawall here. <sighs> yeah. These things can be really good. <sighs> All right, my friends. Was not able to get any crabs this morning. So we're gonna use some mussels and some oysters probably. I gotta check the regs on that, but uh, this is what we're gonna use to catch sheep's head. There he is. Oh, ho, 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 popped it out. Hey, gum it, y'all. There we go, y'all. Uh oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one, y'all. Oh, he's going for the pylons. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Easy, Bubba. Yeah, <laughs> no. You can check it out, buddy. Be careful. He got spines. <laughs> He's a good looking pup, man. There we go, y'all. That is a beauty. That's probably 14 incher. Let's get a measure on him.
Yeah, he's 14. Maybe 14 and a half. Let's get the Ikejime on him. And then let's get him in the cooler. Y'all, we are on the board. All right, well, that was a good start, y'all. That was a good start. Put it back there, see if we can get another one. Oh, just missed that one. Just missed that one. Yeah, we're going to try a different way about this, y'all. We're going to try a different way about this. I didn't bring my waders, but we're going to do this anyway. We're going to do this anyway. This way, I can get on a level playing field with these fish. Now I have to worry about casting. And I can get to the deeper parts easily. We're gonna try some barnacles y'all we were just improvising today um, yeah I really I really thought I'd be able to get bait um, out of the mangroves but uh, for whatever reason the crabs just are not um, here today but that's okay all right so I'll show y'all how I am rigging the barnacles today. What I like to do I just come through the bottom of one here. That is the softest point in the barnacle. And then just push it out like that, y'all. Boom. Tasty treat. Ready to roll. Oh yeah, he's got it. Yep. Oh, that's a big one, y'all. Oh, that's a big one, y'all. You know, yeah, on the barnacles. That's a keeper for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a monster. That's a monster, y'all. Stay on there. Yep. Stay on there. Oh, he broke right off right there. Oh, y'all. Come on. Oh my gosh. Gah! 
God. You guys. God. You guys. Alright, we're gonna try to get some more barnacles here. The really good ones are on the mangrove roots way out here. If you can just pluck them off real carefully, a lot of times you'll get them. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid one. <laughs> now the tricky part is, <laughs> how the heck do I get back up? I came in through the mangroves. I, I, I really wasn't planning on doing this, thank you. Mm -hmm. Or I would have worn my waders, but. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I can set this down and. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you'll, you're good. I think I can get back up here. If not, I'll just climb through the mangroves. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I appreciate it, my friend. Mm -hmm. How long have you been here? Oh, I got here about sunrise, but I messed around trying to catch snook and red by the docks at first and yeah. didn't do any good. So I saw some nice red fish. Saw some really nice reds holding under the docks. They were finicky. They didn't want nothing to do with me. All right, one more for the cooler. Helps to unhook them first. Well, slowly but surely, y'all. There he is. Get away from that piling. Yo, get away from that piling. Okay. Okay. Most important part was getting him out from under there, y'all. Jeez, Louise. Oh, yeah. This guy might keep. He might be a little short. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, well, he was probably short anyway, so there he goes. There he goes. Wow, we started out really slow today. Um, nothing on artificials. Was hoping, really hoping we'd get some snook or reds around the docks. Um, just didn't happen. I think I had like one hit. I definitely saw some snook and reds, but just could not get anybody to play. We also started slow on sheep's head. Um, I had no bait. Tossed around the artificial crabs for a little bit. Didn't really have any luck on those. and. Yeah, I was counting on being able to get some mangrove crabs from the trees and they weren't around. I wasn't able to pluck out any crabs. That's why we switched to mussels and barnacles. Um, mussels are a little trickier to use. I don't like them as much, but they definitely still work. I caught one on mussels and two on the barnacles and <laughs> lost that monster on the barnacle too. But we got a couple for the cooler. So stay tuned, we're gonna do a catch clean cook, y'all. Before I leave, what I like to do is just go ahead and get these guys. That's just one less thing to worry about when I get home. 
one less thing to have to deal with. So let's take and we're gonna get the guts out of this guy. Let's see if there's anything interesting in his stomach. But I definitely do like to do this step before I get back to the house, y'all. Yeah, a couple of nice sheepies today. We would have had a monster. I mean, we lost that monster at my feet. That was definitely a bummer. But that is life in fishing. All right. This guy's about ready. Get the other guy here. All right, my friends. Welcome to the clean portion of the show. We are about ready to fillet up the sheep's head and I am testing out my new fillet table, outdoor fillet table. So let's get these guys rinsed down and ready to roll. friends so again disclaimer I am no fishmonger I will probably not do this perfectly um, there was a time in my life where I used to fillet man sheep's head three or four times a week four to six months out of the year that has been over ten years ago but anyway just come in and make your cut here behind the gills and then the trick sometimes it helps to like pull the spines up a little bit is to just come in right behind those spines with the tip of your knife work that point in and then just run that down the back and come up make your let the knife do the work as they say and just make your precision cuts work with finesse down the back you can even go ahead and cut all the way through down here and then just work away from the rib cage get your fillet cut away from those ribs all right make sure they're down the back come through here And again, not the prettiest thing in the world, but we got a nice sheep's head fillet there. Let's do the other side.
season up the sheep's head and get those cooking, I'm gonna make my tartar sauce. Now, disclaimer, I don't use a recipe. I've been making this tartar sauce for years, so I just wing it, but it's really simple. Just a couple ingredients. We got good old mayonnaise. We got sweet relish. Don't be shy with that. We got lemon juice. Oh yeah, gotta have the lemon juice. We got minced onion. We're gonna use a little bit of just plain old white sugar. Like that. We're gonna do about a little tiny cap full of white vinegar. Like such. And then basically just going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. that mixed up and after you mix it you just kind of give it the old taste test and see if it's uh, to your liking but I've made this so many times I just usually let it be so there's our tartar sauce y'all now let's get to cooking those sheep's head fillets all right y'all while our oil heats up for the fillets, I'm gonna season them up and get them ready. Got good old Old Bay, a little bit of flour. That's really all you need. This is a simple recipe. I like to keep it simple, but I also like to use the Old Bay liberally before I put it in the flour. On both sides. get this nice and seasoned up then we'll get it in the flour and then we'll actually touch it up with a little bit more old bay after we get it in the flour all right like that press it in just to get a nice coating go and then again I'm just gonna come back with a little more old bay here for good measure y'all all right these bad boys are ready to go in the pan all right y'all our oil is smoking hot so let's get these fillets on they're gonna go about two to three minutes per side Alrighty, my friends, here is the finished product. Some great looking fillets. We got our tartar sauce, we got a little salad, and of course, some tater tots. So that's it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the catch, clean, and cook. We will see you next time on the Wade Fishing Experience.